In fact, we'll talk more about Dorian now. It continues to carve a large path of damage across the Bahamas. And now we've got a number of states uh, that are watching what's going to happen next. That's right. Uh, this morning it was downgraded to a Category 2 hurricane, which means it has wind speeds as high as 110 miles per hour. Downgraded, though, in terms of uh, wind speed, but the storm still posing very intense threats of storm surge as well as potentially catastrophic flooding, leaving a number of U.S. states on high alert. Yeah, and even though the storm isn't expected to give another direct hit, the impact is still a force to be reckoned with. Take a look at these images sent to us here uh, by our own uh, Rod Maloney's brother, Ned Maloney. He's, uh, a, of course, Rod, a reporter showing up uh, boarding, boarded houses and businesses in Florida as Dorian closes in. So let's send things over to Rod right now with more Rod. Most Michiganders have connections to Florida, friend, family, a house down there. My brother lives in Palm Bay, Florida, which is just south of the Kennedy Space Center. He's lived there for 17 years. He's been through a lot of storms like this one, so he is not one to easily panic. I went to the store on Wednesday night and there was nothing on the shelves already, which got me concerned because everybody else was a lot more uh, Hurricane mode than I was at that point. <laughs> Yet it wasn't until yesterday when Dorian became a Category 5, he really got serious. Some people have shutters. We have boards, the same ones I use every year that are fitted for the house. But you forget that, you know, sometimes you forget about you got to get tap going to the cement and that kind of thing. But uh, and that's pretty standard stuff. But generators, you know, if you leave your gas in the generator for the year like I did and, you, you know, it turns to water, you got to get your car sorted out. He's noticed as Dorian started north, the overall moods improved. People are kind of nasty in, 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 the, in the beginning. Then once everybody's kind of got everything they need the last couple of days, everybody's been really pleasant. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a challenge. I mean, trying to find things, you know, everybody's, you still might lose power possibly, but you know, trying to find everything, water and soup and things you could heat up easily. The houses and business in the area are all boarded up now. The roads are quiet, he says, and he's anxious to get back to work, but he's a realtor. You know, it's hard to start calling people up and get them excited about moving to Florida right now. <laughs> they have short memories. Next week will be fine. <laughs> My brother, the pragmatist, indeed. So uh, he says that uh, it's he's, you know, concerned about the power going out. They're concerned about storm surge, but he's about five miles in, so he doesn't expect it to be a problem uh, in his neighborhood. There are barrier islands out there. But all in all, he says, says ever since they found out I was going to be turning north, he's feeling a whole lot better about it. He's braced for the worst, but he figures if the power goes out and that's the worst of it, he'll be just fine. Reporting live downtown, Rod Maloney, Local that's 4. That's the best thing, and we appreciate your brother talking to us, Rod. Thank you.